It's in 2014, and it's a really, really bad movie. Um, it makes no sense. Something, something, something. I didn't really understand it, but I thought it was really, it was a really good, inspiring moment. So this is called, I've never been shot. I don't think I've ever been loved. I run, but not too fast that I can't hear the sound of your footsteps, the flattering flip flip of wind against my cheek that reminds me I am worth chasing. Even though you miss that I am on the ceiling holding my breath like water, I know you still care. You're reading this and you're worried that I'm behind the corner, pistol in hand. Instead, I jump down and slide a knife under your ribs. You groan, oh, of course, but you don't die. And neither do I. We both have plot immunity. And like a franchise that just won't give up, we come back a little weaker. I run towards a safe house and bolt it shut. I apply pressure to my wound and hope you're doing the same. Blood is such a syrupy, sweet fluid to waste. I close my eyes and try to get some rest. It's almost midnight where I am, but for you, it might be five in the morning. I try not to mind those little things. My phone rings, piercing through the dark foreground. You tell me to look outside, and my house is surrounded by men who are here to capture him. Don't kill him, he's mine, you tell them. And I'm sorry that I can't stay for the fun. But just know that that act of kindness, that act of love, of tenderness, does not go unnoticed. Your men break in and remind me to send you the bill about that. And even though I see it a couple hours later, I understand what you meant when you held your heart. After the wire transfer for an obscene amount of money clears, and you know, what is money even worth in such large sums? I wait in a house so sparsely decorated it makes me sad. When the sniper shoots, he misses your heart by a centimeter, the doctor says. You'll need a blood transfusion in a couple of days in the hospital. And the doctor says if it was just a little more to the left, you would have been dead. I do not think I'm delusional to imagine a smile going over your face before you call me. Your sniper missed. Better luck next time. Shame, I say. And you respond, he's a sniper. He wouldn't miss unless he was told. I shrug. Good help is so hard to find these days. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Good thing I'm already here. The phone line disconnects and I walk into the hospital. Evening, doctor. I heard a patient came in that needs a blood transfusion. He starts to protest. You can't go back there, but two pulses later, I've got blood in my hands and love on my mind and the music swells. Deep emotional strings that distract me for only a moment, but long enough for you to escape. What can I say? I used to prefer the love that came with the least cost until I saw the way men go to war for men that they love. The next time I see you, you have a cut on the bridge of your nose the way all the main characters do when they've been through a fight. Does this make me the villain, I ask? Of course. You, are, you always were. We have a good laugh because both of us only know that Hollywood deals in such absurd absolutes. Reassured, you call me darling in private and I pause. The air crisps and I sense a third party and I realize we've both been played. I start to run, but you grab my hand. Relax. They're rooting for us. Of course they are, they don't know better, but they do, you respond, and I believe you. Give me one more dance, comes out more like a plea than you would like, but I am desperate and I question if any of this means anything. And as our dance blossoms to a climax, some stupid hench person of mine throws a grenade at you. I'm good help is so hard to find these days. And I catch myself as the grenade goes off. There's a moment of silence, backlit with smoke and debris, before you walk to me, and it is there that I understand you truly loved me so much that despite being stabbed and shot, you still found the strength to put me down, and right as you ask for my last words, gun to my forehead. The director says, cut, that's a wrap. Great work, everybody. And you give me your hand, and we go to lunch. <laughs>